How's it, how's it guys? So great to have you here today, having a little chat on the couch about our photography. And because I am, oh, I'm so thrilled that you're here sharing with it. And I want you to be the, like the best photographer you possibly can, can be. I want to give you a little warning. I want to give you a heads up about something that has probably affected you at some point in your photography. If it has now, it is going to at some point in the future. And so many photographers struggle with this mistake. It's not a mistake that can be rectified by doing a tutorial or, or reading in a book or, or any of those sort of things. And yet, because it, it affects so many photographers, I'm surprised that nobody has ever addressed it. So that's what I would like to do with you today is have a chat, have this, this kind of informal conversation about this very thing that is, is threatening to sabotage your photography. I'm going to share with you a, uh, a, a story, a, a, a secret about me, if you will, that is very difficult for me to to say, especially to you and, and everybody else who watches this channel. And is that, that is that for the longest time, I fell out of love with photography. I was not into photography. I sure I was, I was still working as a photographer. I was still running my studio and, and I would put on the, the stage face and, and go and do, you know, do family portraits, uh, you know, and, and make a, a reasonably good living from doing that. But yet, Every time I went into that studio, every time I opened the door, every time that I sat down with a family, I showed them photographs of, of, of them, it reminded me that this was not really what I wanted to do in photography. That by step by step, inch by inch, I had moved further and further and further away from the excitement of taking photographs, of the joy, of the simple pleasures of just taking a photograph for that simple fact, just because I liked looking at it. I wasn't doing that anymore. I'd, I'd spent, you know, 18 months, two years, really not taking any personal photographs at all, like nothing. I, I barely looked at any of my monographs. I, I, if I didn't have to go into the studio, because really I'm only trained as a photographer, I don't have any other skills to fall back on, I probably would have ditched photography completely. And, and my life would be so much emptier for that and the reason that I haven't done the reason I have now rediscovered my enthusiasm photography is down to two things the first is a guy called Chris and we'll come back to him in a little minute but the second thing it's what well, is you it's you there watching this having a conversation with me albeit just a one-sided conversation it has reminded me that there are people out there who enjoy photography, that they don't see it just as a way to make money. And, and that's kind of, you know, in, in, the, in the area that I was working in, a lot of photographers would pay lip service to the, the idea of being a photographer, of, of, you know, a wider sort of thing. But they weren't taking pictures to have fun. They were taking pictures that were mechanical in process, simply to make some money. They were effectively marketers who were taking photographs. And so I was worried the very first time that I, I put up a video and, and it's almost a year ago now in fact at this time last year I was busy putting the, the touches on my first video the Richard Avedon one and if you haven't seen it before I will link to it at the end of the video and it's, it's always at a sight for sore eyes right but I was sitting there and I go okay well I've got to do something I have to try something to rediscover my connection with photography and I thought maybe I can do this by helping other people remember why they started taking photographs in the first place. They're having that, that fun back in, in the images. So it's thanks to you and the rest of the community who sit, who talk, who give me feedback, send me emails, who, who say great things and, 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 and enjoy the content that has helped rekindle my love and my interest and my passion and my joy for photography that I felt when I was just starting out, taking and holding that camera in my hand and, and, and just seeing the world with the possibilities that it could. So the second person, and, and is, is what I would call a friend of the channel in all speak, which is, um, I don't know, it's a bit of a naff way of saying it. Yes, okay, so Chris Cuffero, you are a friend of the channel. You are officially been, boink, you know, <laughs> knighted as a friend of the channel. Now, Chris is an American photographer, and he is doing pretty much what I would have liked to have done when I was younger. I wanted to be a musician, not a musician, a music photographer. I wanted to be 
in there with bands and stuff because you know I was young, I was into music and stuff. And, and Chris obviously has made a career from doing this. He has photographed many, 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 many famous people. And and I would love to do a, a deeper look at his photography at another point. We certainly will come back to him because he's 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 a great he's a great guy and a great photographer. But he would reach out and he would say, listen, Alex, wake up, right? Your content is good, it's interesting, I, I enjoy it, but dude, you need to lighten up, right? You are like ramrod stiff and you are kind of like, not from a presentation thing, but you're being very earnest, you're being very serious. You are drifting into the realm of the strokey beard person who's telling you all about the high, highfalutin sort of things and concepts. Remember why you take photographs in the first place. You take photographs because it's fun, man, because it's, it's, it is a fun thing to do. So Chris, Absolutely, thank you ever so much for reminding me and for, in extension, reminding everybody who's watching this. So that's you. You need to be having fun with your photographs. The people who tell you that you need to be in a certain way are the same sort of people who would sit there and they would look at somebody like Keith Moon, this lunatic drummer over here, and they would look at Charlie Watts and say, this, this very studious looking man over here. And they would say, well, Charlie Watts is evidently the better drummer. He is evidently the better because he is learned, he's wise, he, he behaves in a, in a serious fashion, he takes it seriously, and, you know, and, and he just sits there doing his stuff. Whereas Keith Moon is, was rather, a lunatic, I think it's fair to say. He beat the drums like they owed him money, and, and I don't think you could say that he took anything seriously. And yet, both of them enjoyed the process of drumming. They enjoyed the art form of drumming and, and they were committed to it. They, they, they loved it for, for the energy that it gave them and, it, and, and those, you know, those sort of things. And this is what we need to remember in photography is that you can express yourself as a photographer, as a personality in so many different ways. You can have fun with your photography and still talk about you know, conceptual concepts and, 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 and layering and all that sort of stuff. But you can also have fun by being silly, by, by doing ridiculous things, by going, what happens if I do this? What happens if I photograph a wedding with a plastic 1.850 mil on my Canon? You know, it's, it, you know, it, you, may sound, you may recognize the voice of experience um, in that one. And, you know, and then you tell people that you did this. You say, I have photographed a wedding on a plastic 1.8. And they look at you and they go, but, but, but why? Why would you do that? Don't you, aren't you serious about your photography? And you go, well, yes, I am. And, you know, that was, it was fun. It was an experiment and it was cool. It worked. It was great. You know, so you don't need to behave in a silly fashion to be fun. You don't need to be, if you are the person who, who is, you know, a little bit more upright, a bit more old school, if you want to call it that, that's also fine. So long as you remember why you're doing this, and that is to not please other people, not to become a version of the photographer they think you should be and behave in a certain way that they think you should, but because this is fun, man. You take a photograph and you see the world and it's, and it's awesome. Whatever enjoyment you take from photography, whatever you get from it, don't let other people stop you being fun with it, having a fun and, and enjoying the process. I have been guilty on this channel of occasionally being a little bit high, but a little bit earnest. And I think, you know, Chris has called me out on this a couple of times. And, and I've felt over the last few videos that I'm finding my feet with with the channel. The channel is almost a year old. The 20th of November, Tuesday, what year are we? <laughs> the 20th of November, 2020, I put up my very first video. It was a video about Richard Avedon. If you haven't seen the half hour epic of me talking about a book, I'll link to it at the end of, uh, end of the video. It, it's certainly worth checking out. Of course, I would say that, wouldn't I, right? <laughs> but, but here's what, how it's all going with this, is that this, this video here has been more conversational. It has been a lot more chatty than, than certainly my earlier attempts at photography, or videos about photography were. And, and this is because I have taken Chris's advice on board and also introduced it into, into this channel, which is I started this channel because I wanted to talk about photography. It was something that I enjoyed. It was my way out of rediscovering 
the 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 the, the, the fun that I was having with with my photography by doing something that I enjoyed, which was talking to other photographers. Now, the reason I kind of moved away from scripted episodes and more kind of just conversational things while talking about photography is that if you were sitting here next to me or in front of me, this is in my lounge, and this is this is my lounge where we're finally getting around to doing some decorating, um, you know, after the move, then we wouldn't be sitting here with you sitting there going, hmm, yes, it's all very, very interesting and stuff, you know, and, and it would be a proper conversation. It would be back and forth, back and forth, hey, you know, and it would be fun. We would be feeding off each other's energy. And obviously in, in YouTube land, it's a little bit tricky to to feed off. But that's kind of why I'm, I'm moving away from the, the more scripted, the more rigid, formulaic sort of, uh, you know, re, sort of very like, here's a photographer and we're going to discuss their life and yada, 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 right? Into more kind of like, do you know what? I, we're going to look at these photographs and remember why that we enjoy them. Why do we like looking? Why, why do I look at somebody like Tim Walker? You know, Tim Walker creates worlds a bit like David LaChapelle that do not exist, that they, they create these, these fantastic worlds. And I don't think that, you know, you would look at sort of fashion photography per se and say that it has deeper layers of meanings and things like that. It's just, it's, it's made because it's fun. There are certain photographers who take their work very seriously and I, and I, and I believe that, you know, they have a, 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 a method and an agenda and, and something like that. And they, they will, you know, be more the Charlie Watts kind of photographer. But then there are also photographers who are the Keith Moons, who are the, you know, the, the lunatics who, you know, would jump off a stage, blow up their drum kits and all sorts of things like that, because they can, because they're not worried about, you know, conforming to some idea that comes from a, you know, a, a camera club or some sort of academic who says you must do this. And they're not trying to impress that person. They're just trying to be themselves. So, so with you, just, you know, do your own thing, man. Just, I would implore you, right? If you are at a camera club right now, if you're a member or, you know, if you're part of a group of photographers or you're in a face, you know, whatever, if you're, if you are around other photographers who are not making you happy, who are saying things that you kind of go, well, that's really not how I see photography. Don't waste your time trying to convince them that your way is 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 good or is acceptable or whatever. Because it's it's just it's just a waste of time. It's like it's like arguing on the internet. Nobody ever won an argument on the internet. Move away. If they if they if they're if they're being downers, man, just just move away from them, right? Surround yourself with people who make you excited about photography. And if you are excited by photography, by being around people who talk in an academic sort of way, little strokey bits, that's cool. That's absolutely fine. But also if you want to be surrounded by people who are kind of maybe on my side of, of, of things, where I'm a little more like, do you know what? I'm just going to see what happens. I'm going to photograph a wedding with a plastic lens and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to photograph on Holgers and all that sort of stuff because, you know, why not? Because it's fun, you know, then, then do that. Just whatever you do, just surround yourself with people who inspire you, who inspire you to be the very best photographer and expressing yourself in a way that makes you happy, that makes it fun for you. That's really what I want from this channel is to, is to kind of just say to you, look, you know, any way you want to express yourself is, is perfectly fine. That, that ultimately you should be finding fun with all sorts of things. I know we keep coming back and talking about fun and stuff. And that's because, as I mentioned earlier, this, this, this video is not scripted. This is me talking to you. This is me reaching out and saying, do you know what, let, let's forget about this idea that there are people who come down from on high and dispense their wisdom, for whatever word, and, and just throw it away, you know, or not just, yeah, most people listen to their wisdom and throw it away. But, you know, it's not like you've come down from on high and say, look, these are the things and you should, and then I disappear again and I come back and I disappear and I come back, right? I, from talking with you, listening to the comments, from, from reading the emails that, that you guys are sending me, you know, it's, it's wonderful to see that there are so many people who watch the channel, who enjoy photography, who are either, you know, seasoned photographers who've been doing this for, for, for many years, but also there are people who are, who are just new to photography, that there is a common thing 
that runs throughout all of them. And that is that at one point or another, all of us picked up a camera and, and we loved what it was that it made us feel. It made us feel something. And that was obviously a positive thing because we stuck with it. The, you know, we didn't take some pictures and say, well, I'm, I'm not really into this. Chuck it to one side and, and try, you know, a drum kit, as <laughs> maybe, you know, Charlie Watts or, or Keith Moon had done or something like that. We, we stuck with the hobby. And for some, it turned into a professional career. Uh, and, you know, so like myself, and, and, and I f drifted further and further off what it was that initially connected with me. And for some other people, they have never wanted to do anything more with their photographs than simply just see the world in a certain way, take pictures, and, you know, if somebody else likes them, that's cool, right? Because ultimately, we got to take pictures to, to have fun. And, 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 and that's just kind of, I, I really want, you know, if you're ever feeling like you're not having fun with your photography, I'd implore you, don't just, don't, don't chuck it in. Don't just give up on it. Because, you know, I was very close to giving up on it, as I mentioned earlier. And I really would have regretted that. I think it would have been a crying shame. It's such an important thing in my life that, that I would just become disconnected from. So if you are struggling with your photography, if it, if, if it does feel like it's a chore, if it does feel like it's a job that you are unwillingly doing, then take a breather. Take a breather, do something else. You know, put your cameras away for a while and just, you know, take a w walk in the woods without your camera, something like that. Come back to it. Come back to it later. Or if you, if you really want to keep taking pictures, take pictures of something that is of a genre that you have no interest in or no idea about at all because you're not going to be working under preconceptions. You're not going to be forcing yourself to do something. You can just take any, you know, it, it's just... Just go out and take pictures of, of whatever it is that you want and don't worry about whether or not they're good or bad. They're just, they, they just are. They're refilling your tank of, 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 of happiness in your, in your photographs. So this is kind of like the third time I've recorded this video. <laughs> and, and the reason I've done it three times is because each time I went, well, that's not right, it doesn't follow a structure, and doesn't do this, and it might not hold attention, and all these things that have gotten in the way of, of me kind of, again, drifting away from the enjoyment of, of sharing this content with you, of sharing my love of photography with you. And, and this is a big step for me, is to take this leap and say, well, do you like the conversational aspect of these things? You know, what do you think? Because this is a two-way chat. You know, I, I, I can sit here and talk all day <laughs> to, to, to my lampshade, which is behind the camera. But ultimately, I want to talk to you. I want to, I want to have this as a conversation with you. I don't want this channel to, to drift once more into talking at you about things. Let's make this a, a, a back and forth. So I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. It would be fantastic, really, just to, to get a feel for, you know, how you like or how you connect with the channel. How do you see it? Is it, is it a learning resource? Or do you, is it more that you enjoy... You know, possibly the, the, the thoughts that pop into your head when you watch it, like, oh my God, that guy is always wearing <laughs> the same waistcoat. It's just like, what's going on, right? Or, or would you, you know, what is it that you would like to see? I'm, I'm happy to talk about photography. Obviously, the core of the, the channel has always been talking about photography, about photographers. And I'm, I'll be, I'm trying to find a balance between introducing as many of the great photographers who I enjoy, who I love looking at, to as many people as possible, but also in a way that isn't just like, oh, I look at, look at this photograph, I like it, so it's kind of cool, so we'll look at the next picture, and oh, I like it. So it's trying to find the balance between sort of, you know, academic-y kind of stuff, but also, you know, the enjoyment, the, 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 the excitement about photography and how it moves us in many different ways. So please let me know in the comments below. That would be fantastic. Anyway. Earlier, I did mention about my very first video. If you haven't ever seen it, you are in for a rare treat. So here it is, it's Richard Avedon and his book, Autobiography. Thank you ever so much for being here and I'll see you again soon.